For some kids in the Madison area, it is worth it to spend hours on a bus to get to a program at the Warner Park Community Center. But as Nicole Herzog explains, a donation from a local group should soon improve that ride time and the vehicle they ride in. For Charlie Wills, the decision was obvious. It was the winning organization, uh, actually by quite a long shot. Wills and his group, 100 Men of Dane County, had three finalists to pick between for a $94,000 grant. They agreed on the Madison Parks Foundation for a clear reason. Seeing them get the grant was just, uh, was, was pretty special. The Parks Foundation runs the NO program at Warner Park. It's a safe space for students from low-income, single-parent homes to get involved in sports, recreation, and career training. We're, we're it here on the north side. Um, we're, we're serving nearly 150 kids a week. Um, and so, you know, again, I mean, having, having a, a space where youth can come and, and be social and, and, and see one another. But to do that, many of the students have to catch the bus. Some ride for more than an hour to get to Warner Park. Buses don't run when you want them to. They don't, you know, it takes a little longer to get to places when you, you know, versus just kind of, you know, having a direct ride. Soon, that won't be a problem thanks to the 100 Men gift. The foundation will spend much of it on a van dedicated to this program and the peripheral job opportunities that appear from it. Uh, we're also within that refereeing program, where, I mean, it, you have to be there at a certain time. You got to be there before the game is going to, you know, start. So, um, you know, having reliable transportation will go a long way in ensuring that we can get to where we need to be. 100 Men gives out smaller donations, too, four times a year, with funds coming from donor commitments. He says, much like this decision to choose Madison Parks, donors see an obvious return on their investments. It's been really cool how big a heart somebody has to have, and as soon as they usually come to a meeting after they gave their first $1,000, they see the organization, they see the kids, and they see the impact, they're hooked. Your heart can not only but want to be in that room. Reporting in Madison, I'm Nicole Herzog for News 3 Now. 100 men of Dane County told us they are looking to add more donors to their group. You can sign up on their website to help other community organizations.